Hey, it's RF Tech Guy here, and uh, I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about some of my upgrades. And today we're also going to be testing how long we can run uh, the air conditioner on these new upgrades. So we got about uh, 488 amp hour batteries here, about 352 amp hours, and it looks like we have a full charge. So the sun's not uh, full blast right now. It's not hitting the solar panels in, in uh, direct sunlight, but they're still putting out a charge right now. We got 150 watts on the roof of Harbor Freight solar panels. I'm still running the original Harbor Freight uh, charge controller. I got rid of the old Harbor Freight batteries and we're running these uh, bigger ones now. And then there's a 5,000 watt inverter, which I probably won't ever need to fully use. I did run a fan as recommended. None of my old computer fans were working, so I just went to Walmart and bought this, and I plugged it in right there. So we upgraded to the zero gauge wires, and I got some 10 gauge running from the charge controller to the batteries. And of course I am running these in parallel. Now I believe I said it before, I can't do too many more upgrades here, so I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna be able to run the air conditioner the way I wanted to off of the solar panels, because, uh, uh, the, the amount of equipment I would need, yeah, I probably should not do it in this house because we'd probably get busted for that. So now I'm going to attempt to run an air conditioner, uh, see how long we can run it without killing the batteries. We're going to keep track of this charge controller here and make sure that it does not go below 12.4 volts. So let's get this party started. Here I put up uh, 50 more watts of solar. Um, not full sunlight, but they're still going to help because these Harbor Freight uh, solar panels are actually pretty efficient. We're probably running about maybe 60% uh, of their their full capability. So let's uh, let's go get this test started. So we got 200 200 watts of solar panels right now working, and then I also brought a temperature gauge. So let's see what the temperature is. So it's about 82 degrees outside right now. I don't know if you can see that. 82 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's go turn this on. Turn on the inverter right about here. All right, now the fan should be going on blowing. Blowing out all the gases. So this air conditioner is actually uh, 4.8 amps. It's a uh, 5,000 BTU AC. So we're at 23 minutes and I'm running this air conditioner at a low setting. So I guess for a small, uh, well insulated place, uh, you can run a system like the Harbor Freight uh, solar panels to run a small air conditioner. And I made a mistake by plugging in too many solar panels into that charge controller. So it wasn't charging for a minute there, but when, since I unplugged the solar panels, the charge actually went up while this air conditioner was running on a low setting. I'm sure I could do a lot more with the solar and I've, I've actually learned a lot since I started doing this. You actually can run an air conditioner with a 150 watts of solar Harbor Freight solar panels and some basic equipment. So yeah, I'm back. Uh, this thing is still, still going, still blowing out cold air. And the uh, light is uh, dimming down. This thing's been going on for about 30 minutes and the charge has actually went up since uh, since I unplugged the two uh, extra Harbor Freight solar panels. So I could sit here until the light uh, goes out and then it finally actually kills my batteries. Uh, if you actually want me to retest this in full light, 
I will try, I will attempt to retest it. Alright, once again. 90 degrees, it's getting actually pretty hot out here. And if you look at the um, charge controller, it says 12.9 volts on there. So I'm going to stop it there because this is a lot of video to transfer, so. That's still cool to the touch. So I guess in the last video, one of the last videos, I had a issue with these, uh, with the temperature on the battery or on the terminals. So that's about the temperature outside right now. It actually feels cool to the touch. So yeah, I mean a little bit more upgrades and I might be able to run the air conditioner better. I'm pretty happy with the with the way this thing works right now because it seems like they shut off the power at least three times a year in this in the place where I live. Not due to lack of payment, it's just due to issues with the with the wiring in in this location. A system like this can easily run a TV. It's a it's only 150 watts of solar up there, but you know, you can easily run a TV and uh, smaller appliances. And I'm pretty sure you can run a small air conditioner as long as it's in a small space. Thank you for watching RF Tech Guy. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell. And as always, I will be leaving links down below on where you can find uh, solar panels and other equipment.